I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on calculus. Now we will discuss chain rule to find derivatives. Chain rule is applicable to all composite functions. So we will discuss about composite functions and then take up these examples to practice the chain rule. Now as you know composite function is made up of two or more functions. Let us say a function f is equals to f of g. Now this could be written in many different ways. Sometimes we write this as f of g of x, right? Something like this. So it's a composition of function. Now we could get derivative of this function, the composite function capital F, only if the derivatives of inside function and the outside functions are defined right so if g dash x exists and if f of g of x exists right so only in that particular domain will get the derivative of the function and the derivative of this particular function will be equal to derivative of outside function which is this times derivative of inside function g dash x. Do you see that? So that is how the derivatives of composite functions is defined. Now we could also say that if y equals to a function of u which is a function of x that is to say if u is a function of x so let us say inside function is u which is let us say g of x in that case we could find dy du from here right dy du from this side du dx from here and to get dy dx we get multiple of these two which is dy du times du dx so that forms a chain rule do you see that so it is derivative of outside times derivative of inside kind of a chain we'll explore this particular property with the help of examples right so I hope the basic concept is clear, but once we take few examples, it will be absolutely clear. Now let's take the very first example, which is y equals to square root of 5x square minus 3. So what we're trying to say here is that we know y is equals to square root of 5x square minus 3, right? Now, y is a function of x. What we could do is that we could write u as equal to 5x square minus 3. So that is your inside function. You're getting my point, right? So, so what we have done here is that this inside function has been defined as u. Okay. So once I do that, I can from here write what derivative of u is with respect to x. Derivative of u with respect to x is 10x. But remember, y is equal to this. I could also write this as y equals to square root of u. Since I'm saying u is 5x squared minus 3. So from here, I can say dy du is equal to derivative of this, which is 1 over 2 square root u. Okay. So, so, you know, this is the outside function, right? Now, the objective of finding derivative is basically to find what dy dx is equal to now from what we learned just now 
we could write that dy dx is equal to du dx times dy du. Now here we have du dx as 10x, right? So we'll substitute these values. So we are going to substitute the value of du dx right there in this place and the value of dy du here. So now that is the chain rule. dy du is the outside function. du dx is the inside function. You get an idea, right? So we get our answer, which is from here, du dx is 10x and dy du is 1 over 2 square root u. u can be replaced back to 5x square minus 3. So what we get here as, let me rewrite, dy du, dy dx equals to 10x over 2 times, this can be simplified, square root of 5x square minus 3. Does it make sense to you, right? So that is how we could solve it. Now simplifying, we can always write this as equals to 5x over square root of 5x square minus 3. So I hope that is clear, right? So what we did really was that we wrote the inside as one function, made it a composite function, where y equals to square root of u, right? And then found derivative of u with respect to x, derivative of y with respect to u. Chain rule was applied to find the derivative. So I hope that is absolutely clear, right? Now let's take up more examples based on this particular concept. So we'll find derivative of uh, the function y equals to x square minus 3x plus 1 whole cube. Now this time I will adopt a different method. So we'll say derivative of y with respect to x is equal to uh, d dx of the whole thing which is x square minus 3x plus 1 whole cube. Now that is the outside function. So I could write this as 3 times x square minus 3x plus 1 whole square. So this is the derivative of outside function times derivative of inside function. So we'll write this as d dx of x square minus 3x plus 1. You get an idea. So here we are treating y as a function of two functions, right? So outside function is the cubic function, right? So it is f of g of x. So this portion here is the derivative. So f dash x is f dash of g of x times derivative of inside function. So that is that derivative. So as you can see, this is the derivative which we are finding out here and that is the derivative which we have already found. So I hope both the nomenclatures are clear to you. Now let's continue. So what we get here is equals to 3 times x squared minus 3x plus 1 whole square and the derivative of this function is 2x minus 3. So that becomes our solution, okay? So we found the derivative of outside function times the derivative of inside function. So we get our answer, that is dy dx equals to 3 times x square minus 3x plus 1 whole square times 2x minus 3. So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Now let's take up the next question. This time we have to find derivative of y equals to square root of x plus square root of x squared minus 1. So we are given y equals to square root of 
x plus another inside function x square minus 1. So we have function within function, right? So dy dx is equal to derivative of the outside function, right? Uh, let's write down as d dx of square root of x plus square root of x square minus 1. Now, that really tells us that we have to find derivative of outside function, which is half of, I could write at 1 over 2 square root of all this, which is x plus square root of x square minus 1. So this is the derivative of outside function times derivative of inside function, which is x plus square root of x square minus 1. Is that clear? So we move from outside to inside, as you can see, right? So let's continue. So we have 1 over 2 times square root of x plus square root of x square minus 1 times now, derivative of this function is derivative of x is 1 plus. Now, derivative of this function is 1 over 2 square root of x square minus 1 times derivative of inside function, which is d dx of x square minus 1. So, I hope the concept is clear. So, you have to move in to find the derivatives, right? Finally, we could write down our answer as 1 over 2 square root of x plus square root of x square minus 1 times 1 plus. Now, this derivative is 2x. So, we get 2x over 2 square root of x square minus 1. So, you could simplify this by crossing out x and you get your result right there, right? So, let me finally write down the answer, squeeze it in here, right? So, we get 1 over 2 times square root of x plus, I mean, plus x square minus 1. And here we have, uh, let me write it right there, 1 plus x over square root of x square minus 1, okay? So basically, we just crossed this two and rewrote our answer. Or finally, finally, let me write down clearly here, the answer dy dx, as we get here, is 1 over 2, all this, square root of x plus square root of x square minus 1, times all this, which is 1 plus x over square root of x square minus 1. Clear? So that becomes the solution for the given question. Go through this example and try to understand how we move in and apply the chain rule to find the derivatives. Got it? So let's have the next question now. Now, this is a very interesting question. We are talking in terms of function now. g of x is equal to square root of x plus f of x square minus 1. Find derivative of g of x at 3, x equals to 3, given f of 8 equals to 6, and derivative of f at 8 is 3. Okay. So, applying the derivative chain rules, we can straight away write our answer here as derivative of this function, right, so which is 1 over 2, half of all this within square root, x plus f, x square minus 1, square root, correct, times derivative of inside function, which is x plus f of x square minus 1, correct. So that gives you 1 over 2 square root of x plus f of x square minus 1 within square root and this derivative is 1 plus derivative of all this which is f dash x square minus 1 times inside function let me write this as 2x right here perfect so that is g dash x so i hope this is absolutely clear now, if I have to find 
derivative at 3, then I have to substitute 3 there, correct? So what do I get? Substituting 3, we get 1 over 2 times square root of 3 plus f of 9, that is 3 square, right? Let's try 3 square minus 1, which is 8, 1 plus f dash of 3 square minus 1, which is 8 times 2 times 3, replacing x with 3, correct? So we get this as 1 over 2 square root of 3 plus. Now what is f of 8 equals to? f of 8 is given to us as 6, so I'm replacing this with 6. Now here we have 1 plus derivative at 8 is 3, so I'm replacing this with 3. So we get 3 times 2 times 3. So we can now evaluate and write down the answer. So this is 6 plus 3 is 9, 1 over 2 times 3, that is 6. And here we get 3, 3, 9 to 18. So we get 19 here, right? So we have 19 over 6 as our answer. So the derivative of the function at x equals to 3 is 19 over 6. Does make sense. So I hope you have understood the concept of chain rule. Feel free to write your suggestions. And if you like and subscribe to my video, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.